Oh hi, it's Bukai, and we are back with another of our solo challenge for Eidolon. So now let's pop in and see what we got all night. Ooh, nice, a nougat cake. That is nice, that's what we need. And okay, we got another one of the googly eyes recipes. Which, meh, you know. It's always annoying to get a second one of those, but it is what she is get the level up 51 probably gonna wait till 60 or 50 somewhere from 55 to 60 in order to go back into the uh, into the skilling and let me go to I'm pretty lucky with those new cakes which is nice because we're at two I'm wondering if I should get more of the glass shards Okay, three of them, so let's brew that, and then let's go, let's go, no. That's actually four fails on this one. It's just annoying. Oh, nice, that did not flip. Which means this probably has... So let's finish getting the rate up and might as well dump the rest into the cap. For you, you're sitting at 1.8 in power, which isn't best. Can't really don't really have anything to invest into the vials, and I don't have the resources to keep dumping over here. We'll get agility up a bit. Yeah, as I thought, I just don't have the resources yet to keep dumping, so as much as I don't really want to keep dumping it. I mean it's useful to dump, so let's just throw it all into raid. And there we go. Oh, pay to win tab. That's what I need to go to. Pound this up to 20. Um. Nah, I keep that for now. The regen, I can get one more level on. Let's get the capacity up by one. that up and get the boost rack up now we will go over here it's still 1.8 per hour which could be better but that boosted us to 26 per hour which is giving us 76 per hour and 42 on these now so that is nice and I guess we're going to do the same thing that we do every day on there is go back to crab cakes and oh wow we've got a lot of we've got a lot of crab cakes to dump in here we can't go into the good old-fashioned mafiosos yet I don't really I'm short by a couple of the defense which kind of sucks um, I mean, I could probably actively do it, but I don't really have the time to sit there and actively a, uh, monitor the food. But you know what? I will do that. I'm going to go actively sit on the crab cakes. Or not on crab cakes. On the, um, on the mafiosos. And now we will run all the way over there. There we go. So I'm going to make a quick video afterwards as well, showing people how to actually complete this guy's quest. And it involves using the Mopping Shout. I don't have the damage to do it yet, so that's why I'm not making it. I will be able to do that once I am A, a higher level, my bubbles are higher, and I can actually afford to do it. 
But till then, I will pause the video here and I will see you guys later. And we're back with a uh, the continuation of the Eidolon. So we're gonna just hammer down on all these eggs. Just keep hammering. Let's see what we get. It looks like we're getting a decent chunk of gems and there's the golden egg, which is nice. Now, items, let's get a bunch of monsters. Just summon a crap ton of them. One thing that I notice as you're seeing here, I am standing over by mafiosos when you're opening them. Probably should have opened these in sand castles because I probably would only be taking around three to four damage a pop. But you want to open them up in the highest map that you can because they only deal one damage, but they give you the experience relevant to the mobs that are around. So the higher level zone you open them in, the more you get. And yes, I think that might be finally the stupid silver card I've been farming. Is it enough? Yes, it is. About goddamn time. There it is, 9% Madden uh, regen, which is giving me probably around... That's 9%, it's probably giving me an additional one a second. Or just underneath one a second, which is... Big. <laughs> uh, do, 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 15, so that's gonna be the gamble, is whether we can get 15 of these things on there. I don't know. We will see, because there's only like... Six days left in the event? I'm not 100% sure how many days are left in the actual event. But just keep grinding through all these guys. When the event is over, because as you can see on my level, I'm level 52. And when the event ends, I'm probably going to flick back over to a skilling build. And then I'm going to switch over to a uh, fisherman. Both of those will have to be grabbing a lot of the, whatchamacallit, flies for good old fashioned. If I go to my anvil, produce, I haven't hit that as much. And I scroll, oh, nope, it's not scroll down, it's right here. I need to make this, actually, so I should go in pocket sand all night, because that will increase my defense by a lot. That's defense at 18, upgrade slots. Yeah, upgrade slots threes so compared to defense of 16. So yeah, I automatically go up by two and then I get an additional six. I also sold all of my Easter armors because they're, they're kind of kind of useless and I regret using them on these, especially on this, but is what it is. The Easter weapon stone isn't that bad when you're putting it onto the actual weapons. For plus one weapon power and plus two defense it's more of a i would call safer route uh to upgrade your weapons than using the warped ones but if you can afford it use the warped ones they're better considering the warps give you it's something like five weapon power or something like that which i would take over uh and the tool ones i don't know i've heard the tool ones are good from some people but i don't see it it's Plus three random stats only when the, even the basic tier two, or yeah, tier two stone gives you a, for the same chance, gives you tool power, which gives you more efficiency. It, it might be better, but I don't know. I want to hear the arguments in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious which one people are using. So that means if I go down to my sand, because I don't think I got enough sand on there. I do have enough sand for it, so that's fine. Uh, what does that mean if I go over here? Copper plate, so I do need more nails especially, and I need a uh, copper ore. This guy here is going to need a bunch of flies. It's not as big of a priority to get, but it will be a priority. Uh, I kind of decided between Gold Helm and Amarok where I can't get the Amarok, so that decision was made really quick. But between the gold and the Viking, I'm gonna go with the gold. I just don't see how the um, how the a, uh, over the other stuff on there. It might be based on one or two, but it's just not worth the resources investment, in my opinion. 
Uh, do do that. Open up the rest. Probably should have opened these on the lower platform, but is what she is. Live and learn. Oh yeah, I think I also gotta open up one of these. Yeah, green mushroom, that's fine. I didn't really want to get a boss up here. Cares. As much as I like my guy and as much as I danced on the Baba Yuga. Nice, now I'm getting these cards. This is what I want. It's the last one I need. Yeah, the Baba Yuga cards are... As much as I bounce... Add words, no English work today. As much as I liked the bouncing around and attacking the Baba Yuga, it just wasn't... I don't... I can't take down the Dr. Deficus yet and I can't take down the... A uh, big... What, like, biggie eyes or whatever they call it? Which, speaking of which, I can actually build the biggie... The biggie eyes. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Googly eyes. Summon item. I need wooden circles. That's somewhere that I'm gonna have to start grinding soon, is the actual tree. I'm gonna have to unlock up the tree. Uh, even though here, I'm probably never gonna be unlocking the most constellations, especially here. This is grind here for 36 hours straight. Straight for th on three characters. So not only can I not get it on the other two, but my god, before he added in that stupid clock, I logged into a couple characters on my main three separate occasions at 35 hours and 50 minutes. Yeah, I was pissed. You, it does not add up and you lose on there. Thank you for adding that timer in there. Thank you. But 36 hours of grinding is just way too long of sitting here AFK if you're trying to advance in the game because the game is not as idle as you think. You kind of have to be active and you do not have the inventory slots to pick up even with a pay to win account, which that main account is because it's got all of the unlocks for the uh, carry capacities unlocked. He can't carry everything after 36 hours. It's just not enough But with this since this seems to be the last snake on my screen I'm gonna end the video here, and I will see you guys next time. Take care